The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Eni Tabi here, and today we're going to take a look at what is the last of the wave that I have, minus Scarlet, and this is Retro Recondo. I wanted to get this knocked out before the pre orders go up on Thursday. You'll be able to pre order Retro uh, so Snow Serpent, Eel, and Beachhead. Beachhead looks great. And then uh, Ferrets. So Ferrets will be available, and it should be like $54.99, and I'm going to buy two, I think, because. That's a pretty good price, I think, for a figure and vehicle. I'm cool with that. But today we're going to take a look at Rakondo. And if you're watching this video and you'd like to help out the channel, uh, memberships are available below. Click the link in the description to join. Also, if you're interested in helping the channel, please think about subscribing and sharing this video, liking this video, and doing all that good stuff. So, Retro Rakondo. We already done a video previously on Tiger Force Rakondo. I got it because I had Rakondo as a kid, not that version. This version is the version I had. So excited to get this guy. He was a solid figure in the original release of Tiger Force. So I had to get him on retro. I always get the figures I had as a kid. It's just like a requirement for me now in this line. But here he is with the card. He's holding his M14 or maybe this is like, what do you call it? BBR, whatever. Um, but yeah, got that with some tape on it. Jungle. You know, the funniest thing about this guy, I always, for some reason, thought this guy was like Australian. And nope, he is from Wisconsin. I don't know where I got that from, but uh, yeah. Jungle Trooper, Infantry Intelligence, Rakondo hates the cold, loves hauling a rucksack through the bush and sweating through his camis. When he's in the jungle, he owns it. Anybody else is trespassing. So the Jungle, jungle Trooper, we've got him, Scarlet. Still don't have Scarlet. This is the 18th from Amazon, so I guess we'll go with that. And then Duke, Duke was... Very solid figure. Really liked him. So we'll see how Rakondo is. I mean, it's just basically a paint redo. I don't think anything else but that. But uh, let's open it up and take a look at it. And, you know, this card, very sturdy. I know I think I've mentioned that. But uh, they really up the game in the card aspect. So if you're collecting men on card, these guys, uh, once after that first wave or two, uh, they're doing a good job. Let's open it up. All right, let's look at the accessories. We got... Uh, Kakuri blade or whatever we're calling it. Silver, green handle, uh, bendable plastic, but it looks good. Uh, nice detail. This one, this this plastic actually wasn't a pain to get out of like metalhead, but so this looks cool. We've got a pistol here. Uh, it's kind of a compact. I mean, it kind of looks like maybe something like a SIG. Maybe, I don't know. Picket in the rail. Port there for it's got a little bit of a bend in it, but I think we can do something with that. Port on there for effect, all green. I really don't like the like the all green type weapons. Uh, I like them to either be black or some weathering on it, but this looks fine. Got his backpack, uh, got kind of an arch to it, so this may be a good deal. We've got his roll here, some molded in details, some several pouches, canteen, kind of old school style looking backpack here. Maybe you will send. During the 80s, this guy just gives off like Rhodesian Wars vibe. Um, so, got that. Got his hat rolled up. Got his boonie hat rolled up on the side. Got a thing on it. Pretty cool. It is flexible. But uh, not too bad. So, it's just, it doesn't really like bend in the middle. So, it's just the, the brim does. Uh, and we got, like I said, his rifle here. Got some tape around it. I've actually got a picture of me with one of these. I don't know if I should put it up, though, because I'm not sure how YouTube rolls with that stuff. But, uh, hey, mine's not green. But, uh, tape on it, trigger, iron sights. It's got a bend to it. This was just coming out of the plastic right here. I uh, got a port there for effects. 10 round magazine. Pretty much, that might be 20 right there. But, it looks fine. I mean, the gun, the, the other version was good, too. Uh, I did not mention the stand, but it comes with a stand. Stands are always cool with these figures. Really do like them. 
Uh, I think they look pretty good. It comes with the file card, so those are two of my biggest things. I mean, at this point, you should just sell a pack of like 20 of these. I mean, I've got some figures that just will not stand. I have to like lean them back. At least with these things, it, it keeps them up because I have like these staircase shelves uh, with all my Joes, and uh, these really, really go a long way towards helping the Joes stand. I don't really do any crazy poses or anything. It's just helping them stand up right. All right, so then we got Rakondo, and uh, he has got pretty much the best head sculpt I've ever seen for Tombstone. Uh, this will be wider up right here all day long. It's got the long hair. I mean, it's pretty good. Loving the mustache. We got the cross draw holster here on the shoulder in the front. Bunch of pouches right there going around. We got a leg uh, sheath for his machete or knife or whatever you want to actually call it. I think it is like a Kakuri play. Got some pouches there, all right there on there. Got this kind of the classic nod to the uniform with the green. Got the boots, rolled up sleeves. It's got a watch. Uh, the watch is molded in yep, on the hand, which is fine. Not really that big a deal. You can run his hat like this. I'm gonna do it rolled up. Let's do the backpack test. That peg is kind of high up on the shoulder, but let's see. Okay, that's pretty good. It works. So no issue with that. And then he can hold his rifle. Uh, so, you know, take the pack off. Take the hat off so we can just show a few things. Like I said, head articulation, he can look down. He can't really look up because of his hair. I think his hair just really gets in the way. Side to side, all that stuff. Uh, butterfly, bicep rotation, got a uh, patch on the side. Double elbows, no pin, wrist rotation. Got the U ab crunch, which is very good. Not clicky, but it works. Uh, waist rotation, tight drop legs. Uh, Thigh rotation, double knees, no pins, like that. It's super tight, so let's not even worry about that right now. Boot rotation, and then rocker, and toe up and down. So, a solid figure, man. I mean, you know, it's a known quantity. Really can't really say anything bad. It feels good. Uh, maybe, a, you know, accessory or two different than the Tiger Force would have been nice. Sometimes I like when they do that. It, it feels... I don't know, in my mind, it makes me feel a little bit better when I get like a, an accessory I didn't get with a nut previous version. And I think this is on par with what you already got. So, you know, it doesn't really bother me, but it would be nice sometimes. But there he is, Rakondo. Like I said, nice little nod to my childhood. Had this guy in 3.75. So he'll go in there. Uh, I think I'm just going to try to group together the ones I had as a kid, which is a lot, but uh, and do those as a separate group than the other figures. I don't know. I, I go back and forth. I was going to do like by the years and I didn't even realize this till I started looking at it that, you know, you're like three away, not counting the, the mail aways or like the vehicle figures. You're only three figures away from completing 82. I think 83 and 84 is done. 85 is only missing like two or something like that. So, I mean, they, they've rolled on through the line pretty good. Now you're, you're into like 87, 88, 89, you know, you're getting on down to, like where you're starting to see the wilder troops, but you know, I don't, I, it's not a problem. They can always, I won't be surprised. Here's why I won't be surprised by like a very cartoon type, uh, subline at some point, like, you know, like Motu did with their cartoon collection, like them doing like a cartoon version of a bunch of figures. I, I feel like that's coming at some point because you know, you gotta reuse these molds and these figures. But here he is, Rakondo, cool. Definitely worth picking up if you didn't pick up Tiger Force or if you had this figure as a kid. Uh, it's definitely worth adding to your collection. Thanks for watching the video. Please hit that subscribe. Help out the channel. Like I said, if you're interested in becoming a member, link below in the description. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.